Interstitial lung disease can often be overlooked, but a program at UAB is specializing in education and information for these types of diseases. Our Jillian Brooks learns how these programs are bringing attention to give patients answers. Jillian? Claire, UAB's Interstitial Lung Disease Program is part of RARE, which is a partnership that's bringing awareness and education to less common lung diseases like pulmonary fibrosis. Symptoms of pulmonary fibrosis, such as shortness of breath or a cough, line up with other common lung diseases. UAB's Interstitial Lung Disease Program is a group of centers in the state specifically focusing on the different types of these diseases. It can ultimately lead to inflammation in the lungs and just um, begins this cascade, which ultimately results in scarring or fibrosis. Over 400,000 people in the U.S. are impacted by an interstitial lung disease, and there are several factors that can cause the scarring on the lungs. And there are several different reasons why this can happen. The patients can have either exposure or genetic predisposition to develop pulmonary fibrosis, but eventually um, all these either environmental exposures, which can include cigarette smoking, which can include occupational exposure or uh, things like mold or mildew exposures. When patients are referred to the ILD, there's a screening process that could include blood work, a physical and even a biopsy. When we listen to the lungs and if we hear crackle, so it's really like Velcro rubbing together, um, that gives us a clue that there might be pulmonary fibrosis or interstitial lung disease. Treatments can include medication. It does not halt the disease completely or cure it. Um, there is unfortunately no medication that can reverse the scarring, but at least um, these two medications slow down the disease progression. Or therapy, and in some cases, even a lung transplant. Referring our patients to cardiopulmonary rehabilitation programs, um, especially when they're able to participate and um, um, have been shown to be beneficial. Now, for more information and how to get in touch with UAB's Interstitial Lung Disease Program, we have a link to that on the WBRC News app. Claire?